Last time on Races to Places, a lovely chap and his KTM 990 donated a fan to Basel. Just down on the beach here, there's some seals. It's a beautiful spot here, so much more peaceful than in the towns and cities that we've been recently. So now we're kind of getting onto the coast, heading south towards the Swire. It's, uh, it's much nicer, so. So I need to turn it on myself. I'm actually sure what the protocol is with the seals when approaching seals or getting close to seals. I'm sure in a couple of wildlife programs that I've watched, male seals can be very territorial. Well, if they are, Lyndon and Tony could be in for a spot of seal wrestling, and I know who I'll be putting my money on. So you can see the seals just behind me now, and uh, I'm probably like, eight meters away. Um, they seem pretty relaxed at the moment. But none of them are taking their eyes off me, so I'm kind of not turning my back or taking my eyes off them, especially the big boy. It's the first time I've ever been so close, or even seen seals so close up. Tony the Seal Whisperer. Well, thankfully, it looks like this entourage of seals are peaceful and loved up. That's the first time seals have featured on Races to Places. And what a warm feeling it gave me, seeing them relaxed in their natural habitat, allowing Tony and Lyndon to film them. number 56 now uh, on Races to Places is Chile. We've just arrived in Chile for the first time. Uh, just slogged it pretty much 2,000 kilometers, boom, 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 all the way south towards Chile to get to Ushuaia before the weather changes. Uh, as you can see, I got my woolly hat on. It's pretty chilly here um, in Chile. <laughs> You know, it always amazes me some of the bikes that people travel on. You can see Basil bike here. And check this out, there's a couple riding this bike here. We just passed them on the highway coming in here. Um, tiny little bike, two people, all the camping gear, living the dream. Uh, I found the two people traveling on the little 125 and uh, it's Catherine and Vanessa. And I've given them a sticker to put on the bike. Hello! <laughs> Why no? <laughs> Perfect. <Yay. laughs> and what what is inside? Hola. <laughs> Hola. ¿Cómo se llama? Pandora. Pandora. Woo. Welcome to Chile. That was actually a pretty good border crossing. It only took about 20 minutes to do the paperwork for both exit of Argentina and entry into Chile. So 
So we're just waiting to. Uh, whoa! The bus is scraping its way on the ferry. Just waiting to board this ferry and uh, head across and then cross back into Argentina again. Bit of a moto crash going on down there. crossing for today back into Argentina to head to Ushuaia or Rio Grande there's a guy on 1190 just in front of me here should be pretty straightforward nothing too dramatic I just wanted to say that they've really got their stuff together down here in Argentina and Chile um, the border crossings are some of the fastest that I've been through just been through two today each one literally total took less than 20 minutes uh, pretty impressive I think this last one from Chile into Argentina was like five minutes each spot on so stayed in this little hostel last night called Hostel Argentina or Argentino um, it's a little bit cold now down here We're just a day to go to a fire and uh, the further south we go the colder it gets so I'm trying to get the uh, the plug out for my heated clothing. Um, managed to find that. I just need to wangle it out. The truth of the matter is, we are going electric today. <laughs> Just take a minute to reflect on Basil Bike and what an amazing machine he is. Back in the day, way before the 450cc engine displacement limit, he raced the Dakar Rally, along with various other international rallies, and is now carrying Lyndon on an epic around the world trip. He is an amazing machine. People, welcome to Ushuaia! Woohoo! We made it! Alright, Basil, I managed to uh, flatten your battery like a douche. Yes, Lyndon, how silly of you. So, Let's uh, give you a little bump down here. Are you up for that? I'd like you to be up for it. Well, I suppose I better have be. Downhill. We got the ignition on. We are rolling. Hola! <laughs> Come on, Basil. It's time to go. A little bit more speed. We're gonna hook second and go. Ready? Yes! Woo! So today in Ushuaia, it's, uh, it's raining and it's cold. So I'm just uh, here working on Basil and uh, got Lee here who's also 
from Australia. We just met Lee yesterday and he's got a leaking radiator <laughs> on his 690 so he's busy trying to fix that and Basil's also having a little bit of TLC. Yeah, much better. So yesterday I put um, I put new rocker arms and did the valve clearances and everything on Basil bike and I think I shamed I shamed Lee into doing his. Got a tutorial yesterday. So he's had a tutorial from uh, from London Posket Racing and now he's doing his own valves and checking his rocker arms. So rather than filming me doing it for a change, we'll uh, show some little video of uh, a newbie doing it. Got one rocker arm out. Got some shims out, and he's uh, he's got the LPR calipers on the go, <laughs> and we're fixing up the valve clearances. On does your bike have a name, Lee? Yeah. The, right, there's one. there's a bit of a problem here um, because any bike that doesn't have a name gets a female name. <laughs> <laughs> Ushuaia is commonly regarded as the southernmost city in the world. It's a light industrial port, a tourist hub, and I'd better mention it's got some pretty cool scenery. National Park. Um, this is actually the end of the road. This is the furthest point south that I can actually go on my motorcycle. We are just going to turn around and head north. Races to places made it to the furthest place south, but it's now time to st start going north again. Well, who remembers Neela, the little polar bear? It was given to me by the crazy Brazilian lady up in Alaska when we went swimming in the Arctic Ocean together. Well, she asked me to bring Neela, the crazy little polar bear, <laughs> down to the very southern tip of America and that's what I've done. So we are now in Tierra del Fuego National Park with Neela. Maybe you want to come to Africa with me. <laughs> so we're just about to enter Chile. There's the sign. Buenvenidos a la Republic de Chile. Country number 56. On races to places. Well, we weren't planning on camping tonight, so we're kind of like looking for some reserves. So I'm, I found some tuna unopened, and uh, what's Tony got to offer tonight? You found anything, mate? Soup, soup, soup. and of course, <laughs> of course, <And> beer. <laughs> of course, Tony's got a beer in his bag as well. Next time on Races to Places, it's penguins. Hi everyone, I just want to say a massive thank you to you all for watching my media and for all the great comments that I receive every single day, please keep them coming. I'm just going to share with you my Patreon page. Patreon is a membership based platform that gives creators like me the opportunity to continue cr to create the media that you love to watch. For just a few dollars a month, 
I can give you priority viewing, I can give you special features, informative posts about the things that you want to know. It creates a platform for interaction between you, the viewer, and me, the creator. Now, a few dollars a month might not seem like a lot to you, but for me, collectively, it makes a huge difference. So please check out the link at the bottom of the page, and I appreciate any contribution you can make to make my job sustainable. In return for that, I promise to keep creating great media that you love, dreaming up new projects, filming it and sharing it with you all. Thanks.